Hello everyone, this is Dino Don here again. I've got a uh, new project I've been working on uh, with the help from uh, some fellas on the rcgroups.com, I believe it is. A guy by the name of Cyborg CNC on there designed this dynamic propeller balancer. Now it's originally designed for the quadcopter groups, but uh, when I saw his videos on YouTube I figured, eh, why can't I scale that up and do some larger propellers? So this build is for the balancing of my propellers on my gyrocopter, my uh, CGS Hawk, and my uh, War Corsair project. Uh, so what I did differently is, is used a uh, treadmill motor. I think this one's like two and a half horsepower. The motor also has uh, its own variable speed controller. Well that is hooked up to a little potentiometer here. And then I have a servo connected to the tied to the potentiometer to actuate it. <clears throat> now the the main control of the system is a little Arduino um, Pro Mini, and it's a little adapter cable to hook up to the USB. Uh, to drive the servo, I just have it powered into my DC power supply running six volts. Okay, then. Uh, so what I did here is something a little different. This is the original treadmill flywheel. I turned it down, put on my two triggers for it to represent like a two-blade propeller. There's my optical sensor, pickup sensor that triggers the Arduino to count the pulses. As you can see as the thing passes it blinks. So, now my build here, instead of using rubber mounts, I've went to these like little turnbuckles with uh, joints on them or rod ends. So what it does is it allows this thing to articulate completely 360 degrees freely. But uh, there's also some torquing that can happen when the motor starts up. It'll torque. But because I have my optical sensor hooked directly to the motor, it just follows it so it won't throw the timing off. And then on the bottom of this board here, underneath is the uh, accelerometer, XYZ accelerometer. Okay, so what happens is the Arduino powers up and once you start the run program, the uh, electronic speed control command comes out and just turns the servo instead of a, a ESC because I couldn't drive the uh, circuit in the back off the signal out of the Arduino. I tried several ways and just couldn't do it, so I finally just came up with this neat little mechanical way. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I've just spent the last couple days getting familiar with the program and uh, finally did some balancing here. You can see on the bottom of the fan, that's a fan on the bottom. I took and did some balancing through drilling holes and then the final balance ended up just with some tape. Uh, this system is very, very sensitive. Okay, so in my setups, I have set up to 1725 will give me exactly 3000 RPM. Speed controller idles set as the minimum of 500, 10 numbers of sample, zero dummy runs. Uh, everything else the same, 4G, 2 blade, clockwise, 3200. And the only thing I needed to do was invert the X and Y to get her to work. Okay, so let's, this is all set up, ready to run. So let's go ahead and make a run. I'm going to pay it back and you can see the motor start up as we go. Here we go. And here comes the data. Alright, now, let me show you what this thing does. Let's bring up the FFT. If you look at these scales, get a real close up on this thing. I mean, this is the 50 hertz spike here. Sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. But generally, most of the time, everything is under a magnitude of 10. So it is really, really super clean on the signals. And that's running, let's shut this real quick. And that's running with uh, the filters, This only these filters, no, uh, no uh, advanced filter used in this whatsoever. So the, the signal is, that is basically just random noise probably from the brushes and the motor and uh, the likes, bearings possibly, but that's a very super clean thing. So, 
Uh, hats off to uh, Cyborg CNC for developing this software and like I said this thing will I'll be putting some adapter plates on here to attach my propellers. I'll be spinning a basically between five and six foot diameter props if, if all goes well if the motor can handle the torque but this is a testing at 3000 rpm uh, when I actually go to spin the propellers it'll probably be more in the lines of a thousand rpm if you run this software run this program down to 2000 even uh, this signal will be almost non-existent it is just super super clean and quiet and then as I went through the balancing process you could literally hear the the frequencies uh, and the harmonics on this thing just dissipate as it balanced. I mean, there's literally nothing on there when it's running. So, but that this little system works really, really well. Once propellers on there, this will torque a lot more. But again, the optical sensor follows it, so it's not going to throw it off, and it's free to float 360 degrees. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, please put any comments below. Again, this was from the RC groups, and this video is more uh, meant for uh, those fellows there to look at. So, so thanks for watching. This is Dino Don out.